Hello, this is Josh Patel, and today I am bringing you another great review or biology lesson. Today we will be doing Chapter 4, which is all about cells and energy, Lesson 6, which is fermentation. This will be the last lesson of this chapter, and it's a very simple, quick and easy lesson compared to the rest of them. So our key concept for today was fermentation allows the production of a small amount of ATP without oxygen. So we're talking about things without oxygen now. Fermentation allows glycolysis to continue, and I hope you all know what glycolysis is because we learned it in our last lesson. So glycolysis is basically when it breaks down sugar into two pyruvate molecules, producing ATP and NADPH. So fermentation allows glycolysis to continue making ATP when oxygen is unavailable. So fermentation is an anaerobic process, so it does not require oxygen, and it occurs when oxygen is not available for cellular respiration. So if we did have oxygen, we would just go straight into cellular respiration. But if we don't, we'll have to go into fermentation. So, But you, we need to know that fermentation does not produce ATP. All this it does is it lets glycolysis to continue. It lets, it lets the cycle go back again. So if you do glycolysis once, you run out of the products to make it again. So we need to restart the cycle, and this is what fermentation does. It basically just uses up what you get from glycolysis and makes it so you have products or resources to do fermentation over again. So fermentation is an anaerobic process that allows glycolysis to continue. So this is a little chart. This is glycolysis, and without O2, which is oxygen, we do fermentation, but with oxygen, we get to do cellular respiration. And cellular respiration produces way more energy than just glycolysis with fermentation. So fermentation allows glycolysis to continue making ATP when oxygen is unavailable. NAD plus is recycled in glycolysis. So let's find the image, okay. So lactic, there's two types of fermentation. The first one we're gonna learn about is lactic acid fermentation. So this occurs in muscle cells and lactic acid is the acid that your muscles produce when you're working out or like straining them too much and that's why your muscles get sore after you exercise or do weights and stuff like that. So lactic, ac lactic acid basically just makes it sore after a while but lactic acid is a byproduct of fermentation so it's the waste that you get when you do fermentation. So glycolysis splits glucose in two pyruvate molecules, which we knew. So this is the glucose, and this first section is glycolysis. So it gets you get two ATP and two NADH from splitting glucose into two pyruvate molecules, which is glycolysis. And the NADH will be used in fermentation. So, pyruvate and NADH enter fermentation. So, energy from NADH converts pyruvate into lactic acid, lactic acid. And then NADH is changed back into NAD+. So, this is the end of glycolysis when we have two pyruvate. And then this is also the beginning of fermentation. So, we're going to start fermentation now. So, the 2-pyruvate is turned into 2-lactic acid using the energy from NADH. And so once NADH changes it into lactic acid, the NADH turns back into NAD+. And we, as we know, NADH is just like ATP and NAD+, is like ADP. So they just switch back and forth. And as we know by now, whenever the energy from ATP or NADH is used, it changes back into its original form or the form that needs to acquire electrons or gain energy to be used. So the NAD plus goes back into the original cycle of glycolysis to be used again. So this is the point of fermentation. 
to produce the NAD plus molecule, which will again be used in glycolysis. So if we just ended at the 2 pyruvate here, we don't have anything to start the cycle back up again. So because we ran out of NAD plus, which was used to split the pyruvate. So we need to get it back. So this is the whole point of fermentation to produce the NAD plus to start the cycle again, to start fermentation, I mean glycolysis. And if we, the reason we want to start glycolysis again is because it, it produces more ATP for us. So when you're working out or stuff, your muscle cells need energy, which is ATP. That's what the mitochondria produces. The mighty mitochondria produces ATP or energy for our cells to move. So if we don't get that ATP, it's going to be hard for us to move around or do whatever activity we are doing. So when you're working out a lot, you can't, if you don't breathe a sufficient amount, your cells don't have oxygen to do cellular respiration, which gives you the most amount of ATP. So since we're not breathing as much or we're not breathing as much for our activity, our cells start to do fermentation so they can restart glycolysis because they do not have oxygen so they can't do cellular respiration. So that's lactic acid fermentation, but there's another type. So fermentation and its products are important in several ways. So another type of fermentation is alcoholic fermentation and this happens in foods and bacteria. So it is similar to lactic acid fermentation. So glycolysis splits glucose and the products enter fermentation. So energy from NADH is used to split pyruvate into an alcohol and carbon dioxide. So it gets two byproducts. So NADH is changed back into NAD plus as it did in lactic acid fermentation. And then NAD plus is recycled to glycolysis. So it goes back into glycolysis to restart the cycle. So it's basically the same exact thing. So we have our glucose or glycolysis cycle and the glucose is split using ATP and then we get ATP back. We get two ATP and we get two NADH. And then the ATP is used to like provide energy for the cells. And so once we get our two pyruvate, they are converted from the NADH into two alcohol and two CO2, so carbon dioxide. So it splits it into these products. And if you notice this, the pyruvate have three carbons and the alcohol has two. That's why it can also produce CO2. And so once the NADH is finished converting them, it turns back into NAD, NAD plus, and the NAD plus goes back into the cycle of glycolysis and lets it continue. So the NAD plus is the important thing that we need to know about because it restarts the cycle. And we need to know fermentation produces no ATP. It just allows glycolysis to continue and glycolysis produces ATP. So alcohol fermentation is also important because in certain it helps in foods and stuff like it's used in certain food products like yogurt, cheese, and bread. And it's also used in pizza to get the pizza dough to rise. So when we put yeast on the pizza, pizza dough, when you put it in the oven, the yeast does fermentation and glycolysis. So it first, first does glycolysis, it eats or it breaks down the sugar in the pizza and it turns it into the two pyruvate as we know, and then with the 2-pyruvate, it uses its energy of NADH to convert it into alcohol and carbon dioxide, and the CO2 helps the dough rise. So that's the end of this lesson, and it's the end of chapter 4. So we just finished chapter 4, which was all about cells and its energy, lesson 6, which was about fermentation, and our next video will be starting chapter 5, which is all about cell growth and the cell cycle. And we'll be doing chapter 5, lesson 1. And lesson 1 is all about the cell cycle 
and we'll learn all about how the cell grows and how it functions after certain stages in its life. So it's basically all about the cell's life. So hopefully you enjoyed this video and if you missed anything or you need a review, make sure you watch it one more time and good luck in your quest in biology.